Man is asking for help tonight after two of his prized race cars were stolen from his business. He says the cars are extremely unique and should be easy to spot. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom joins us now live from the man's business in Tigard with that story. Jeffrey? Pete Nori, uh, Pete Nora, Eddie Nadi. Eddie Nakato says that he's passionate about his business, AR Motorsports. He's been here for the last five years and says days ago, a trailer with two race cars inside was taken right from this spot. We really love these cars. We love race cars. We love street cars. We love performance cars. We just love cars. Eddie Nakato really does love cars. Take a look at them around his shop. Many getting ready for the track. Green, 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 green. Unfortunately, even with surveillance cameras around the property, he says he often deals with crime. More often than I'd like to count. Around one Saturday morning, he says someone stole this trailer that was parked outside the lot. Inside, two cars, both BMWs, designed specifically for an upcoming race this weekend, featuring state-of-the-art engines, which he says they were testing and were meant to pave the way for a whole new look at racing. It's just unfortunate that we were not able to actually do it in a competition stage. With a tracking device on the trailer, Nakato saw it traveling around quite a bit, spending hours in Mount Hood and eventually stopping in Gresham, possibly with the expensive vehicles inside. So anywhere between seventy-five dollars and $125,000 to, to get one of those to where they need to be. He says when he found the stolen trailer in Gresham, he spoke with an officer prior to taking a look inside, fearful that the $25,000 in tools as well as two vehicles would be taken. And when he found out that's exactly what happened, he says it was heart-wrenching. Uh, they even went down taking all the oil and the coolant and everything. I mean, it was cleaned out of everything. It's pretty rough. Mikado says he can't help but wonder if those involved knew what they were getting into, as the cars are designed to be on a racetrack, meaning they're without safety equipment like airbags and are instead equipped with roll cages. The cars themselves anything but street legal, and it would be next to impossible to make them so. And even if you could, uh, they would be a terrible street car. There's no air conditioning, there's no ventilation, uh, they ride pretty terrible, the visibility's bad. It's just not really a civil sort of a car you want to drive. He says there's a lot of lost revenue aside from the theft itself to his business, as the vehicles are rentable, so those who are planning to race them for the season are likely out of luck. And, you know, to be the, the bear of bad news for the customer on top of already taking a kind of a gut punch by losing our assets is, is pretty rough. I mean, it doesn't get a lot worse than that as far as business goes. He imagines most of the parts would be difficult to sell to and is now asking people and the car community to be on the lookout for these very distinct race cars. And these are cars that we've, you know, poured our blood, sweat and tears into and you know, there's a lot of uh, happy things that are supposed to happen with them. And so whether they're damaged or not, we'd love to see them back. If you see anything, hear anything, please let us know. He hopes that people will reach out to Tiger Police if they know anything or his business directly. As far as the aftermath goes, he says that he's already upping security. Reporting live in Tiger, I'm Jeffrey Lindblom for Fox 12 Oregon.